afternoon. It's eight minutes past twelve on Saturday afternoon, the first of October. I'm back at Lakes with Chris as he's heading off. We're now doing a wild camp up Skiddo. You can see we're heading up the path there, straight at the top. We'll have a, probably a respite, then taking Lonscale Fell, and then uh, head up to Skiddo Little Man, and then Skiddo itself. We'll probably pitch our tents. Now it's uh, better weather from last week where it was all cloudy and misty. It's uh, hazy, but it's at least it's clear, so we'll crack on. Started the long slog up Skiddo. As you can see, the, the car's in the distance down there, but it's very humid, very warm, there's no wind. We're both sweating buckets here. Yeah. So, we're doing it's it bit bigger. by bit. It's a lot bigger than it looked when we was down there, it's a lot steeper than it looked, like usual. Yeah. So, we're doing 50 metres at a go and having a break. So. The sun's baking down on us as well, it's about 22 degrees. Yeah. You can see it's so hazy, you can see down to Dernwater. And across to uh, Helvellyn Range. And we'll be over there next week. Andy and Moss, if you're going to watch this. So we'll, uh, going. we'll crack on there. Start worrying. On scale fell in a minute. I mean, the view very, very hazy. As you can see down the dots, Helvellyn, and you come to Dirt Water, and then you've got the ridges for next week that we're doing with the Moss and Andy off, uh, off Twitter. So we'll carry on. Almost reached the summit of Skiddo. See, it's pretty busy with fell runners and walkers up there. It's pretty calm up here actually, considering it's quite windy on Lonscale Fell earlier on. You can see that's where we come from a couple of minutes ago, uh, Skiddo Little Man. And, uh, I'm not too sure what the weather's doing because it's, you can see in the distance, it's like faint oranges and so we'll hopefully get some sort of decent sunset as look across to Blancafra. So we'll uh, get to the summit, get a few pictures and... Well, we're all pitched up in the tent. Um, there's my phone, I'll hopefully send some tweets later on. Now I'm just on the Heinz uh, beef drum and dumplings using the Primus Light Tech kettle stove, which was 20 quid from Cotswell Outdoors if you wanna, wanna know. Um, mounting equipment, 
Helium 3.8 sleeping mat. That's done the job well for my first mat. I've only got these recently, which is the Exped dry bags. There's my spare dry clothes in there. All my cooking stuff is in the yellow one. That's actually a Cetra Summit dry bag. Got toiletries in there. Um, got my camera case in there. The Cetra Summit X mugs. They're pretty handy. Um, as well, I have a dry bag there, which has got tomorrow, well, tomorrow morning's breakfast, which is the Mayfair's. Can just get it out. This is the Mayfair's all day breakfast. So that's uh, on the menu for tomorrow morning. And if you can nip outside, and it smells better this week. Views over to Blencafra. I'm looking west. We've got uh, the ridges that we're going up next week. And the sun was out shortly ago, but it's hiding behind the cloud again. And there's Basson Fwaite water, or Lake Basson Fwaite. And there's the pitch. So, probably the only bit of grass on Skiddo or something that we can actually find. We did walk further along to the other cairn down there, but there was nothing. So this is the ideal spot for us. Right, my sleeping bag that I've got is um, the Rab Atlas Explorer 150. I mean, it's only probably a two to three season bag. Maybe this time of year, with the weather being quite nice, it's probably just about right. Um, with a silk liner and maybe one or two layers of clothing on. But it's done me well so far. It's only 60 quid from Cotswold Outdoors in a sale. But soon I'll be probably upgrading to the Rabicent 300. confined to our tents now and uh, the winds before were averaging from it was going quiet to 13 mile an hour and then it was picking up again it reached heights of 30 I don't know what it is now outside but it's probably about 20 to 13 I don't think you can hear it battering off the top but it's just started raining so I've got a feeling the moss has got to be somewhere around here now it's got to be as Chris laughs just next to me he must be peeking up, slowly coming to spookers or something. You'll just hear that Geordie accent, I'm sorry, Mackham accent, begging pardon. We'll hear it very soon. I just hope this bloody rain blows over. It can't be arsed with it. So it's just gone 3 a.m. I don't know if you can hear this or not. Um, we're walking up by severe winds, it must be 50 miles an hour at least. It's pissing down, blowing the air. Been hit in the face. This side of the We've packed away, no evidence that we've been here, we've placed all the rocks that we've moved. The only thing what you can see is two dry, two dry spots. Yeah, true. One there. Uh, Give it ten minutes and they'll be gone. Come inside the down of uh, down the side of Skiddo, and it's obviously it's more of the same. And playing bloody skiing on this slate, 
I've decked it once. I've almost decked it twice, but it's Chris bloody recorded, so not that. That'll be on the other video.